anyone notice it's raining outside? Yeah. Right, how is it our just fix? We did it, guys. We fixed it. Woo! I can drink this now without feeling bad. See, for everyone from San Francisco, they're like, well, yeah, we, we'll get it. For everyone outside of like Northern California, they're like, I keep hearing about the drought. It must be an Easter miracle. Oh my gosh. The bunny laid its eggs and we all can drink again. <laughs> just like Christmas. Ew. Do we got any other questions out there? I see you, you've had your hand up for a while. Fan art for Sabres Park, go get it. While he goes gets it, I think I'm gonna bring up another person to the stage. How about I bring up Black Griffin? We all seem to have really big problems with turning things on. Oh? Oh, it's on now. <laughs> Thank you. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? You got up early-ish. It's sort of early. What time is it? Okay, I lied. But thank you for coming. Did you tell them what this is yet? Brony's Rack panel. Okay, so you can tell them. <laughs> tell them what? Tell me, it's his thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up the uh, last of those been in Brony's React, Mr. Beavis! <laughs> videos that I was like, wow, that was terrible. Well, that was weird. Uh, and then I met you actually in person, though. Yeah. And then we were like, <laughs> no, yeah, no. So, I mean, really, the, the Brony's React, as far as, uh, I, I can't say it was solely responsible, but I think it helped in a way to kind of... Absolutely, because I didn't know you until Brony's React, and I talked to you. Nobody knew me until Brony's React. Yeah, yeah. We used to play Halo, Master Chief, and that was fun. Because I was in Japan, so when everyone in Japan was asleep and I was still awake, they called these Americans, and I would play Halo online. Double kill. Like a nerd. Double kill. Did you have a, another question? Uh oh! Someone has a note for me. It's Can I hear the, the class? Chair with the class. Just stay. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump down to a level. Those uh, camouflage pants actually give them more spring. I'm gonna talk about all this, he's a torso foot in the air. Anyone else got a question? I see way in the back. You with the glasses. Tell me about Bane. Why does he wear the mask? Why does Bane wear I think that, that mask was like $20 from like a party city. Oh man. I uh, used it once. What a great purchase that was. <laughs> I have terrible gas. I have to put the mask. <laughs> Taco Bell is not my friend. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Other questions? Yeah, you. That's a good question, actually, for a couple of you guys. Uh, really? For the first time. As in, as in for the Bronies React. 
You haven't seen anything with the premiere besides like the trailers, right? Yeah. yeah. I usually no watch spoilers. I take out my notepad no. and I kind of make little mental notes and physical notes of what I see in the first time I watch the episode, and then I go back and film myself reacting to it. So a fun little story. I was I was here for the premiere. Uh, I imagine. Oh, a couple of you saw it. Yeah. Did you guys like it? So uh, I was up here and. For those that were here that morning, you know it was incredibly packed in here. There was nowhere to even like scoot around on the floor. So I was backstage, which means the speakers were all facing away from me, which means all I heard was and then I'd hear a lot of laughter or people going, oh, and everything was backwards for me. So I feel like I'm still gonna be watching it for the first time. It was like, that, that was funny. I, I just don't know what was said. <laughs> the visual gags were good though. I don't know why they reversed the theme song. It was backwards. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Something new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it seems kind of lazy. Rotate okay. horizontally. Uh, Pony little mine. <laughs> Wait, I what? Do that, that, that on the spot. Anyone else? Questions? You in the front. Yeah. Two more questions. Will you be planning to make another music video? I hope not. <laughs> You didn't enjoy the Dog Gum style? <laughs> that was a Did you hear the silence? You're like... <laughs> did you include the footage where I got yelled at? Was I that... did. Funny story though, do you want to elaborate? Oh yeah, so I did the Mike Gagnum style thing on the base in Japan. And I thought it'd be funny to uh, <laughs> do it across the street with a bunch of stopped cars and midway in the street and officers like, HEY! <laughs> Tell them the best part of the story, but how that person was actually like. Oh yeah, no yeah, I, yeah. I thought it was an officer. Actually, he actually was a lower ranking than I was. So then I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me twenty dollars. <laughs> I, I got a question for you guys, by the way. Um, this is kind of just a random question. Who's been to other conventions? Just raise your hand if you've been to another convention besides this one. Uh, shout like, out to some people. So just any of the conventions you've been to. Shout them out. Everybody. They all made the to prove the I have not been on that one But obviously we got some uh, some experienced condors here. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm going to Germany next week. So I'm going to basically experience jet lag for the first time, and it's all going to be on the con vlogs. So it's going to be like... <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, more questions. You in the front, you've had your hand up. Where's your Attack on Titan POV? <laughs> Funny enough, uh, I actually have to give credit to this guy for oh. the Attack on Titan uh, segment that happened in Burning React. Yeah, I made that myself, like five minutes. That's why he actually put the little because tag, take that, editors or, or PMBers or whatever it was, because you were so proud of yourself. I put my, uh, my name at the footnote at the bottom, of, like that was made by me. I should have. You still have it on your resume, right? Yeah, that's how I got my job with Toshiba. Wow. They love the tap card. You in the blue shirt. Um, when you, how do you, uh, breaking the lines of the Renaissance React, how do you decide who's going to be on the next show? Okay, so, this you got this dartboard. So you know what Scientology is, right? You know what Scientology is? Okay, so. Tom Cruise won't stop asking to be on the React. It's really annoying. Yeah, no, really, really what it comes from is, uh, the short end answer of this is when I do choose with people who are going to be in the reacts, um, I kind of base it off of, and I've been asked a couple of times at this convention, I base it off of, you know, the impact someone's made uh, on the community. You know, someone that the people in the community can go, look who it is. A lot of people for the first time are seeing these people, their faces, and what they have to offer. I mean, there's a lot, and that's what I love about the reacts is that each person brings something different to the table. No, not really. There's no table. That I, I usually sit on my bed. one right there. Oh. But yeah, I mean, really, it's, that's kind of how my first basis goes off of. And then I loved, like, we got some new people in the uh, trailer react. We had Jay Holler and Little Shy. Uh, they both made an appearance. Have you guys seen any of their work? Yeah! It's a good thing. It looks bloody. <laughs> I like the animated James, but that I mean, I hate the animated James. Oh. Oh. Both, both the audience are just here. I don't know if 
know if you guys have seen, he did an incredible animated PMB of me and Michelle Kramer's Beat It. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But like, no, James came in unexpectedly, unbeknownst uh, to us on uh, Running Back to Equestria Girls. And, or, hey, and, here's another and just been in a reaction. Killed it. Yeah. 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 Okay, now we're all tied out here. He's got, a, he's got a look on it. Uh oh, what? Can we help you, sir? Better late than never. Can we turn on that mic? Cause yeah. nah, nah, hey, is my mic on? Now it is. Good. Sorry I'm late, folks. But I had to go talk about bullying for a little bit. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. So, you've obviously gone on without me. Thanks a lot, guys. You're welcome. Well, well we yeah. were just we were doing a Q and A for Brony Drag. Okay, we were doing Brony Drag. Well, you know what? We're done with that right now. Done. Done. Well, you know why? Why? Because so we've done that a lot at these conventions, and it's boring. Oh, you kidding me? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, then, what do you suggest? You know what we want to do? What? Let's have a game show. What would it be called? Oprah? Game show. No. No, Seinfeld. Whose line is it any pony right now? Well, that was a change of events. Oh. None of us expected that. No. No, I don't think any of you expect that. Call me off. Nobody off. expects the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Dusty Inquisition. I had no idea. Okay, so None. So this first game we're going to do here first is, is uh, called Number, Number of Words. words. Okay. Number of Words. So uh, Dustin and I are going to kind of co-host together. So what happens is every single one of us is given a certain amount of words we can say in a sentence. Every single one of us? Is wow. Because you know that someone that is back there. But that's going to be coming up here smarter than later. Really? Yeah, two more All right, so for example, uh, Gabe here can only say five words. Ray's can only say two words. Beavis uh, can only say four. And I can only say three. So Dustin, do you want to give us the scene? Yes. We have a scene. Pre-written right here. Not by me, but we have one. Ha ha. Now we have a scene right here. So remember, Saber can only say three words in his sentence. Beavis can only say four. Race can only say two. And Gabe can only lot say words. five in your sentence. Only five. Only five. Huh. That's it. Uh, <laughs> so, shining armor, Race. Huh. And Cadence, Saber. <laughs> Go on a double date. Oh, okay. with, with Twilight Gabe. <laughs> and Flash Sentry. I don't, I and, don't approve this message. Okay, you're on a double date. Fine. And you get into a fight over who pays the bill. Yes! Okay. Yes. Go. I love food. Yum yum. <laughs> no, you're a princess. Are you a princess too? <laughs> All of I our... am only, I am one dimensional. <laughs> yep, I understand completely. <laughs> Pass the bread. That's harsh. My corn dog. <laughs> That's actually my horn. <laughs> my band makes money. <laughs> How about weather? Weather is weird because rain. <laughs> so how you? <laughs> Pretty good. Wanna pay Bill? No, you. <laughs> Me? But I got last. I got this. I is polite. <laughs> oh my! Of the bands? <laughs> Don't understand you. <laughs> then no one ever does. <laughs> I understand you, baby hot. <laughs> what about dessert? I am yeah. stuffed already. See? Ha ha! Ain't that baby? 
No. Arp he wraps it up. Arp baby. Uh, what do? Don't tell anybody, please. Bump into you. Well, this is awkward. Yep. Yeah. 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 Season six premiere. You can take over. You're right. I have no idea. Thank you. End of game. End of game. End of game. Good game. So, points. Points for that game. Saber. Yes. Twenty points. Gabe. Five points. Race. Race. For taking it in that wonderful direction. A thousand points. Beavis. Lost at tic tac toe. <laughs> nice, beautiful game, gentlemen. What game is this? Dead bodies. Oh, oh no. Dead bodies. <laughs> so, B bit is the controller of the bodies. Puppet master. Puppet master. Bow down to me. <laughs> so, saber is twilight. Yes. Race. Is rape. And Gabe, you're Spike. I'm Spike. You're Spike. Okay. Spike. So, oh, in this scene, in this scene, Twilight and Rainbow Dash are reading the newest Daring Do book. Then they get into a fight because Rainbow Dash tells Twilight a spoiler. <laughs> Spike walks in and dies. <laughs> this is dark. All right, scene, go. Hey, Rainbow Dash, did you read that new Darren Do book? You know I got a third copy. I always do. Well, I'm a princess, so why don't you, uh, just give me your copy. Come on. Hands off my copy. <laughs> you don't have the power. <laughs> oh, I'm getting really friendly today, Grandma Dash. What is that? You haven't read the new Daring Doodle. It's so good I fell out of my chair. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? It's a nice day in Portugal, huh? <laughs> yeah, he does a lot. All the time. Oh my god. <laughs> so, Twilight, I know you haven't read the book yet, but. <laughs> but you know what? There it is. She gets amnesia, and she she kills an entire village of, <laughs> of ponies. How could you tell me that, Spike? Damn it! <laughs> get up. I mean, get up. <laughs> so I know there's a dread dragon in the room, but like. <laughs> You know, he just goes into a healing coma. Sometimes he'll turn into a blue-eyed white dragon later. <laughs> so about that book. <laughs> you know, it's 400 pages of the worst fan fiction I've ever read. <laughs> hey, I had a special writer's credit in this one, so <laughs> shut up, Penguin Dash. Poking your nose. Gay! With my hoof. Gay! <laughs> nice! Good job, Joe. So, Saber. Saber gets 50 points for being suffocated by bodies. Race. Race gets 25 points for poking people in the nose with a finger. Eating gay. gay. Gabe gets 500 points for the best death scene I've ever seen. 
And B-Mids, B-Mids gets 500 points for just being a good sport to me. And of course, the points don't matter, so. Just like my Next game. Issue. Next game. We're going to go Greatest Hits. Greatest Hits. Oh, and for this one, I think we have a special guest. We have a special guest. Uh, do we have a special guest? Do we have a special guest? Is it the one I was trying to reference earlier and then got shut down because she wasn't supposed to be in the last game? As a matter of fact, no, but not somebody else! Oh! Somebody, else. somebody who's uh, very close to you. Very close. It's the yes. I think. You can say right now she's very far. far, but soon she will be very close. Yes. So I think that we should bring on... Oh! Wow! Hello! It is someone else. It is basic! This guy is a very close to you. From Florida, all the way, and he has to fly back tonight because he has to fly a jet in the morning, tomorrow. I'm not kidding. And our second special guest. Our second special guest. Now you can do it. Now, now I can do what I did before. There's more. Claire Corlett, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. She just takes out all the microphones Woo. with us. All right, so this game's called Greatest Hits. Greatest Hits. Well, what if Greatest Hits is we're going to have, uh, uh, I forget your names, actually. Uh, race Best, right? Uh, and B-Bits. You got it mixed around. I'm, I'm B-Race. All right, and B-Race. Race, race Bits. All three of you are going to be promoting a CD of something to television. And what's going to happen is uh, you all give us a suggestion here in a moment, and then uh, they're going to come up with random like, genres for Gabe here to sing with his brother to you all. So why do you think the audience is an unlikely cutie mark? Give me an idea for unlikely cutie marks. Unlikely cutie marks. Riding a horse? Riding a horse? Time travel. Beer. How about beer? Beer. Let's do beer. Yeah, that's okay. Beer. Okay. Yes. So greatest hits. Songs about beer. So all right, you all take it away. And we're back after that amazing commercial break that went about every single product that we don't sell. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's been a long year this year. We've been uh, we've been pushing a lot of product, but we have something special, special for you guys this year. Um, for 1995, you can get. Beauty mark of your favorite beverage. Beer. We're talking beer here, okay? So oh, tell, tell, tell the audience what, what exactly they're in song for here. Uh, well, this album uh, is premiering in three minutes, and we did a lot of work on it um, with both the production and all the writing, and I think maybe we're ready to, to premiere it. All right, well, I believe the first song we have coming up very exciting one, and it's going to be a sad opera ballad. Sad, a sad opera ballad? Yeah. About beer, right? Yeah, beer. but specifically, yeah, sure, a country song. <laughs> and the name of that country song is Fairy Punch Fell Down Again. <laughs> I don't remember what she said. 
Actually, I couldn't understand. I think it was something like Jimmy Bacon the Black. And that's when she passed on. or spilled her five times you can buy this entire album of yes. Mr. Gabriel Brown's touching ballads. Absolutely. About the, the theme from here continues on, but the question, what kind of song do we have coming up next? We have for you a jazz piece. Very exciting. And the name of it is one that I think a lot of people are curious about. Yeah, it's, uh, it's called Scattered, scattered peanut shells. Right. This was this was written during uh, a circus performance, and uh, there was the song is pretty self-explanatory, but it's very, very dear to my heart. It's probably one of my favorites. It's also known as having one of the most dangerous dance moves in the industry. Yes. Bye, bye. Honestly, 
we have almost every genre on this album. It is absolutely incredible. Absolutely. It's true. Um, uh, our next song is all about bees. So it is a rock ballad, as I as I remember. Yeah, it's rock, a rock ballad? ballad. I guess you could classify it as that. Some people uh, classify it as alternative or just weird with an I E R D. Um, but yeah, this is all about bees. I'm scared. I was scared. I actually wrote this piece, but Gabe's gonna perform it for us. Cause they are bees. Ready? Go. Hi, y'all. I've got an accent. 
I just want my cutie mark. My name's Scootaloo. You should probably learn to use your wings properly. You're right. You know, I don't think this us three is really working out that well. <laughs> you know, I'm there's a lot of things that aren't working out well right now. Gosh, I'm working with amateurs here. We need more action. We need more sci-fi. We need some cutting-edge CGI. Do it like Star Wars Episode One. <laughs> Something that's fantasy. I'm thinking, do it like the Hobbit. Go! Yeah! Over there! That is where we'll get our cutie mark. On the other mountain. Next to the apple tree. Oh! No! What's that mean? I don't know, Colin. What does it mean? No! I'm an elf! Oh. I'm Colin. It's Lego Hoofless. I am made out of Lego and I have elf ears! And you shall not pass! Oh yeah, for a cutie mark. That's pretty nifty. I want to get mine and almost dying in a volcano. That's very nifty. If you want to get to the volcano, you'll need to pass me! Okay. I. Ah. Hey, the cutie mark is dying! The thing I wanted to make is a 17 parter. And <laughs> one time. Maybe. Okay, no, we need to do this. Brian, we need to do this for the children. Guys, do it like the movie Toy Story. Go! So, we're going to do the exact same thing for this con. So, 
there's no prep for this. There's there's no like, any cues from the audience. So we need three characters to start off with. So give me uh, a character for for B bits here. What character? Hey. for all three of us, so give us, what's that? Swamp. Uh, swamp, okay. So I guess the Korra and uh, Tyrek coming to Shrek's swamp, okay? So here's the thing though, is you have one chair. In this game, uh, there's one chair, and for all three of us, at, at any given time, one of us has to be either sitting, uh, standing, or lying down. So I could be lying down, Henry, our units has to be sitting, and Ray's best has to be standing, but we can switch throughout the game when we have to keep rotating. So that is the okay. game. I'm in my swamp! Do you want to lie down or should I have the honor? Hey! A rhyme is not a crime. What are you doing in my swamp? You worm! Whoa! Oh, it's your soul! I don't have any. Sakura, we can team up. We can take over this swamp. Join me. You come into my village today. <laughs> you're not coming into my swamp. What are you doing? This? You're not coming into my swamp. Not when I'm lying down on the job, at least. Hey. <laughs> yes. Why are you sitting on the job? Well, I should be sitting over here, actually. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, not Tartarus again! Get out of the swamp! Get out of the swamp! You lazy ponies never do anything good for this planet. <laughs> oh, you do mistake. Oh! So hard to die. You know what? I know it's really hard. <laughs> well, if you like me, light it out, somebody! <laughs> I'm getting my exercise today. Did you call it? I have to pay. This is the only way. So what are we gonna do then? Oh, uh, you live in a swamp. You live in a swamp. I live in a swamp. Maybe we should team up. Wait a minute. That's a really good point. I know. That's why I suggested it. <laughs> I'm out of breath too. Team up? Why would I team up with you? Because I got the bubble clutch on. <laughs> you don't want to put yourself <laughs> Wait, you know what? Where's Donkey? That worked way too well. <laughs> You're done. Well, he, you look a lot like him. Oh. Do you have magic? I want your magic. Come to me. <laughs> I'm not a donkey. I am a monkey. Okay. Okay. If you want to call it that, that is way too much for one round. So, Shrek, you get 100 points. Zakora, you get minus 50 points for not rhyming. <laughs> Tarek, you get 25 points for not getting any magic. So, I know, I where like is Saber Spark? Woo! Oh, now we come to our favorite game. Uh oh. Our favorite game, and we need to get back. Where'd game go? Game! 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 We have our favorite, we have to, we need basic back too. Basic? Basic, basic buddy. The boy with the back. rain. Because it's time for. Irish drinking song. Yes. Irish drinking song time. We all know how this game goes. Yes, we need a. We know how it's supposed to go. Yes, first. we need a unlikely actor cameo in season five. Unlikely actor cameo in season five. Give me that. Barney. 
I've heard of it in the news. It is there, but where is here? I don't know where to go. Ponies everywhere, and I can't get on my room. <laughs> the elevator is always crowded. I have to walk up the stairs, and the key cards don't work. How do we fix that problem? This place is like a maze. I have to survive. There's only one restaurant right across the street. <laughs> and to make matters worse, there's a giant white guard with a scary gun and eyes like fire. It's my turn to sing now. Yes, it is. That's here I go. I'm gonna walk this way now. Oh, oh, oh. This is the second year of this here con. Why I wasn't in the first one.
understand the struggle. It is a lot of weight. I sweat, I bleed, I do everything I can, and that is not okay. I was walking through the TSA. He looked at me and said, this is not okay. I see on the screen, you can see my wings, my thumb, and about everything, and it got weird.